expecting you went through that dull opening, you would appear at another universe. There is, at this point, a connection between quantum handling and faint openings. In this educational video, we investigate a crucial and frightening disclosure made by the James Webb Space Telescope inside a faint opening figured out by Bill Nye, the science fellow. A faint opening is a star so gigantic that not even light can escape from it due to its immense gravity. The mysteries of faint openings have confused experts for quite a while. However, by virtue of amazing advancements, we've seen something genuinely shocking. A very huge dull opening drinks what could be compared to one Earth every second. The wavering and compelling first image of a faint opening in space prepares us as we dive into the unfathomable subtleties of this unending openness and explore what it could mean for unraveling the universe. Stars at the end of their lives, that are much more extraordinary and tremendous than the sun, run out of fuel and begin to collapse as gravity crushes them. Faint openings are fascinating, and it was truly a challenge to look for the first one. Even though Einstein's theory of relativity predicted their existence, faint openings emit no light on their own. Their size and rotation are the primary measurable properties we have. Visual confirmation of faint openings, confirming their existence, has only recently become available. While confirmation of faint openings was missing for a long time, the first faint opening, Sagittarius X1, was discovered in 1964. However, it took over 30 years for experts like Stephen Hawking and Kip Thorne to agree that Sagittarius X1 was, in fact, a faint opening. Hawking, a notable figure in the study of faint openings, secured their public recognition. Yet, they were cautious about the lack of definitive discoveries. By 1975, Hawking and Thorne were almost certain that Sagittarius X1 was a faint opening. In 1988, they were 95% sure, but they waited until 1990 to acknowledge it when more observations provided sufficient evidence. The initial discovery of Sagittarius X1 was made using two Geiger counters sent into space on a suborbital rocket. They detected a signal pinpointed to a system 7,200 light years away. The system featured a blue, extremely giant star orbiting another massive object emitting strong X rays, which made sense if it were a faint opening. Extensive research has since focused on Sagittarius X1, revealing that it is 15 times the mass of the Sun, making it the largest known stellar mass faint opening discovered without gravitational waves. This discovery challenges long held ideas about faint opening formation and the mass loss experienced by stars over their lifetimes. Sagittarius X, one breaks records in more ways than one. Its striking mass and the fastest rotation speed of any faint opening observed to date, approaching the speed of light, defy accepted patterns of faint opening formation. Although definitive proof of faint openings has recently been found, it is increasingly clear that they are scattered throughout the universe. Even if researchers eventually unravel all the mysteries of Sagittarius X-1, countless others still hold surprises. Under 2,000 light-years from Earth, experts have discovered a dormant giant, the Milky Way's largest stellar mass faint opening, Gaia BH3, with a mass several times greater than that of our Sun. Despite being the second closest known faint opening to Earth, Gaia BH3 remained unnoticed until now. Gaia BH3 was discovered accidentally while researchers from the European Space Organization reviewed data from the Gaia mission, which maps our galaxy in 3D. The discovery of this dormant faint opening, which isn't actively siphoning energy and material from a companion star, was a complete surprise. Typically, stellar mass faint openings in our Milky Way have a mass a few times that of the Sun, with Sagittarius X, one holding the record at 15 times the Sun's mass. However, Gaia BH3, with a mass of 33 solar masses, is still small compared to other faint openings. For example, the central supermassive faint opening in our galaxy, Sagittarius A, asterisk, is 4 million times the mass of the Sun. Gaia BH3 is the second closest faint opening to Earth, behind only Gaia BH1 which is 1,500 light-years away and has a mass several times that of the Sun astronomers now have more evidence to understand how stellar mass faint openings form. Faint openings from massive stars with lower concentrations of heavy metals are believed to be the source of these colossal stellar mass faint openings. These metal-poor stars, made primarily of hydrogen and helium, 
are thought to experience slower mass loss, leaving more material available to form massive faint openings when they die. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, experts have found an incredibly red, supermassive faint opening existing in the early universe's shadow. As the universe expanded, the supermassive faint opening took on a reddish tint 700 million years after the Big Bang. The light traveling toward us is redshifted, suggesting a dense layer of gas and dust surrounding the faint opening. Lucas P. Finnell and Avi Bend, from the Beenan School of the NAS Cosmology Group, determined the faint opening's mass using JWST data, finding it to be 10 billion times the sun's mass. This discovery stands out, showing that the supermassive faint opening is rapidly consuming the surrounding dust and gas. Located about 12.9 billion light-years from Earth, this quasar was a groundbreaking find. At first perceived by its red appearance, quasars are formed when a ton of material encompasses extremely monstrous black holes, forming a disk of gas and dust that feeds the black hole. The huge gravitational pull of the black hole disturbs this matter, creating extreme temperatures and causing it to emit light. The light produced by quasars can be so bright that it outshines all the stars in their surrounding universe. The JWST identified this extremely large black hole as a small point due to the massive amount of radiation it was emitting. The object was initially detected as a peculiar star-forming galaxy, with color analysis supporting the theory of extremely massive black holes. Its small size and exceptionally massive nature stood out from other quasars observed in the early universe. This discovery was made possible by gravitational lensing, a phenomenon predicted by Einstein in 1915. Einstein's theory of general relativity proposes that objects with mass curve the fabric of spacetime, which combines into a single entity called spacetime. This curvature creates gravity, and the larger the object, the more intense the curvature. The shape of spacetime also affects the light emitted by stars, bending it as it passes near massive objects. This phenomenon, known as gravitational lensing, allows us to see distant objects that would otherwise be invisible. The JWST used this effect, supported by a galaxy cluster called SMX J7233, to amplify the brightness of distant galaxies and reveal the red quasar. This new information adds to the growing body of evidence that the early universe was populated with exceptionally large black holes, which can be millions or even billions of times heavier than the Sun. Since this phenomenon has been observed in various early universe black holes, it sheds light on the formation of both the black hole and the host galaxy, as well as the connection between the two. The classic chicken or egg question on a cosmic scale remains unresolved. Did the galaxy or the black hole come first? How large were the first black holes and how did they evolve? Researchers may have found evidence that microquasars, which are black holes consuming companion stars, are colossal particle accelerators producing unexplained high-energy cosmic radiation that hits Earth. These giant black holes draw material from neighboring massive stars in binary systems, and some of the stellar matter is ejected as relativistic jets traveling at incredible speeds. Microquasars are smaller versions of quasars, both powered by exceptionally large black holes consuming nearby matter. In 1912 high-energy particles were found to hit Earth with energies reaching electron volts, far more energetic than particles accelerated at the Large Hadron Collider, the world's most powerful atom smasher. The theory suggests that massive black holes and microquasars are the universe's most extreme particle accelerators. Recently, evidence of microquasars accelerating particles to such high energies was confirmed using the High Energy Stereoscopic System, HESS. Researchers detected particularly high-energy gamma rays from the jets of the most powerful microquasar in the Milky Way, establishing a link between cosmic rays and microquasars. The microquasar SS-433 produces high-energy gamma rays through its jets, which interact with surrounding matter, creating a shock front that accelerates electrons to extreme speeds. These gamma rays result from this interaction. SS-433 the first microquasar ever discovered, is located at the center of the W50 supernova remnant, affectionately called the Manatee Nebula. S433 has been extensively studied for decades. The system consists of a white giant star and a black hole about 10 to 20 times the sun's mass. They orbit each other every 13 Earth days, 
with the star's outer layers being stripped by the black hole's gravity. Some of this material forms an accretion disk around the black hole, while other parts are ejected as jets traveling at 26% of the speed of light. These jets process in a spiral pattern, forming the W50 supernova remnant and giving it the appearance of a giant manatee. The jets fade over time but return in a repeating pattern driven by the periodic motion of SS-433. The jets from the black hole also interact with the surrounding matter, creating a complex interplay between the black hole and its environment. This behavior makes SS-433 one of the most fascinating and enlightening objects in the study of microquasars and their role in cosmic particle acceleration. Despite SS-433 being the first identified microquasar, much remains unclear about how black holes accelerate particles to such extreme energies and their broader impact on the universe. Scientists use various methods, including indirect measurements, to understand these giant phenomena. For instance, black holes can be observed through their interactions with neighboring stars and matter, as evidenced by the dramatic increase in X-ray emissions as material is drawn into their gravitational pull. This phenomenon is crucial in understanding black holes and their impact on the universe, providing fundamental insights into the formation and behavior of these mysterious objects. In the realm of black hole research, the recent discovery of the most distant known black hole, an extraordinary 13.1 billion light years away, has also expanded our understanding of these massive giants. This discovery, made possible by the capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, reveals an incredibly massive black hole formed less than a billion years after the Big Bang. This early development challenges existing theories about black hole formation and galaxy evolution. Observations suggest that these early black holes may have played a significant role in shaping the structure of the universe by influencing the formation and development of the earliest galaxies. In addition to their role in galaxy formation, black holes have been linked to powerful cosmic phenomena known as active galactic nuclei, AGN. AGNs are characterized by incredibly bright emissions from the regions around supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies. This emission occurs when material from the surrounding accretion disk is heated to extreme temperatures as it spirals inward, producing X-rays and other forms of radiation. Studying AGNs provides valuable insights into the feeding behavior of black holes and their impact on their host galaxies. These studies have shown that AGNs can significantly affect galaxy evolution by regulating star formation and dispersing heavy elements throughout the galaxy. Recent advances in gravitational wave cosmology have provided a new way to probe the properties of black holes. The detection of gravitational waves from merging black holes by observatories such as LIGO, Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, and Virgo has opened a new frontier in understanding these elusive objects.